So we're getting some of those streaks are coming through there. And then you have the option here to boost light just to kind of increase it. So I'm just going to put in a value of say 14. So we're now starting to see a lot more shine coming through on those um, on, on these pieces. So when it's fused, we should really only have um, well, well, we'll set a keyframe first for 14 to about here. So we'll set this to 14. And then when it fuses together, bring it down to zero. So we're starting to see the, the shine sort of really uh, come through. Maybe a little bit too much, actually. We'll reduce this down to nine. There we go. So we've got some some bright squares there as it as it's coming through. So it makes it makes it uh, look quite interesting. And then just to finish off with, um, just to kind of in, improve the uh, improve the camera uh, position because uh, for the first few couple of seconds here, there's not nothing really happening. Um, so we just want to basically get our camera set up at the start of the of the animation to where there's these cards in frame, but they're they're starting to to really come through. So we're just going to go back to the card dance effect, go into camera position, and on the X Y position here, I'm just going to change this just going to move uh, just moving it quite low it's about minus 300 so it's like to see some cards there and then just zoom out So there's the, there's the cards there. If we set some keyframes for this, so that uh, when we go to the pieces then being joined up, we just want to change this position back to what it originally was, which was 320. And then Z position, zoom back in, zoom about two. So now, we start by seeing cards. They're going to be flying in from left to right. And then we're going to join the logo in the middle. In fact, what we'll do as well is just do something with the focal focal length position here. Let's change that to 38. Just that we zoomed out a little bit more. Set a keyframe. Come back to where we were. And just change this to 70. And then obviously you can um, play about with the camera a lot more as I did. I, I um, In my composition I, I did play about with the camera quite a lot just to make sure that um, I was getting exactly the shot that I wanted. It's just a case of trial and error really. But we'll have a look at what it looks like so far. Okay, so here we go. Well, that looks great. And as I say, just uh, towards the end of the animation, just keep keep the animation going just so that there's uh, something interesting going on. Uh, move the camera around a little bit, maybe even uh, change the values of the, of the uh, shine effect, just that it shines in and out a little bit and obviously play about with the position of the, of the cards. Maybe they need to, maybe a little, little bit uh, 
spaced too far away there uh, they can be brought close together but that's uh, that's looking uh, pretty good so that's uh, that's pretty much the end of uh, this tutorial uh, thank you very much for for watching today um, just to finish off with, uh, please do visit my website. It's www.syrupsyrup.co.uk. Um, it's basically just my portfolio, and um, I keep it up to date with with latest news and what's happening. And you can basically have a look around and just uh, see the kind of work that I do uh, in multimedia as a graphic designer and animator. Um, keep looking at Motion Design Love. There's always some great posts being put up there by Matt. Um, I do enjoy following his nice type Tuesdays that he does every Tuesday. It's a great influence in there and just some great work being uh, displayed there from uh, all over the world. And um, if you are on Twitter, uh, please do follow me. I'm on uh, Twitter. Um, my address, I do believe, is twitter.com forward slash syrup um, I basically Twitter about everything from life to video games to animation to my work just pretty much everything really and I like to stay upbeat so please follow me and uh, that would be a great way for you to get in touch with me as well if you have any questions or if you'd like to uh, if you'd like to tell me what you thought of the uh, tutorial please do that so thank you very much for watching and take care and I look forward to hearing from you bye bye